we can open multiple instances of a browser. You can see I have opened a Chrome browser and I can open another window of Chrome like this. And also we can open multiple tabs in a browser window like we have one tab here and I can open Google here. I can click on this plus sign and add a new tab. Here I can add Facebook and I can switch to Google tab or I can switch to Facebook tab or also I can switch to any browser window. This is like normal functionality of any browser. The same thing we may require to do while automating the test scenario. For an example, suppose we are onboarding a user and an OTP is sent to the email ID. So you might need to open a new tab or a browser window where you can log in to your email ID and you can fix the OTP or you might have some UI from where you can fix the OTP. That is different practices followed by different projects. That is just an example. You might need to open the browser and perform any set of actions. So in this video, we are going to learn how can we open new browser window or tabs using Selenium Web Driver with Java. So let me launch a Chrome browser first. For that, I need to create an object of Chrome driver class. So Chrome driver, Chrome driver equal to new Chrome driver. This statement will simply open the Chrome browser and it will launch only one Chrome browser instance. In this instance, I am going to load Google. So Chrome driver dot get and here I can use Google URL and I am going to print the title of Google. For that, use the sysout and use Chrome driver dot get title. This is script we have written multiple times. Let me quickly run and show you. Here you can see it has opened the Chrome browser. It loaded the Google URL and in the console it is printing Google. Now after opening the first instance, I want to open a new window. So if you're thinking to open the one instance of Chrome browser, we created an object of Chrome driver class to open the another instance we can create another object of Chrome driver class that is also correct. You can obviously do that. That means I can create another object of Chrome driver class by copy and pasting the code and just change the object reference name. So instead of Chrome driver, I am using Chrome driver one and let me load the Facebook here. I'm going to run the program. So this time it will open two Chrome browsers for me. So this is the first. And again, it loaded the second one. So now we have total two browser instances of Chrome. This is satisfying our goal, but we have a problem with this approach. The problem we'll see in another video. But instead of creating a new instance of browser, we have some better way. And also by creating a new object, we cannot create or open multiple tabs in already open browser instance. So we need to use the browser instance that is Chrome driver. And here we have method switch to and you can see the return type of switch to method is target locator. We can store the return value into another target locator and we can call another method on this. But we have already seen multiple examples of that. So I'm directly going to use the method chaining here. So we call switch to and here we have a new method called new window and the return type of this new window method is web driver which is an interface. This new window takes a parameter of window type. So select new window and call window type. Window type is an enum. By using this enum, you need to say whether you want to open a browser window or you want to open a tab. So let's start with window. If you control click on window type, you can see it is an enum and we have only two values windows and tab. An enum is used to represent the fixed set of values. We need to understand this statement very clearly. We are using switch to method. When we open the new window, so I need to switch to this new window. Then only I can work here. We cannot keep two windows or two tabs active at the same time. So in this method, when we are saying switch to, that means when a new window or tab will be opened, that window or tab will be auto focused. That means the control will be switched to that new window or tab. It is the same thing which happens when you do manually. If I open a new tab here, I am 
into this third tab. This is my active tab. Same thing goes for window as well. These two are inactive. If I want to use these two, I need to switch here by clicking. So now you understand why by using switch to here. We cannot directly call new window without calling switch to. So whenever you, we are opening a new browser, a new tab, control will be switched from the previous one to the new one. And in this new window, I am going to open Facebook. So copy page code from above and instead of Chrome driver one, use the Chrome driver. It's the difference between this line and these lines are that here we are going to have two web driver sessions, but here we are going to have only one. So here also we need to use Chrome driver dot kit title. Let me run this program. So here you can see it has opened two Chrome instances. In the first one, it loaded Google and in the second one, it loaded Facebook. And this Facebook one is on the top. That means this is in active stage. In the same way, we can open the new tab as well. So I'm going to copy paste the above code and instead of window, I'm going to use window type dot tab. And here I'm going to open the CNN. And here I'm going to prove that control will be on the new window. So here it will open the first browser instance. Then it is going to open the second browser instance and a new tab will be opened in the second browser instance because this is the active window at that time. So in that window, first it will open the Facebook. It will print the title. Then it will open a new tab in that window itself and it is going to load CNN there and it will print the title. I'm going to put some sleep so that you can see it clearly. So three dot sleep of five seconds. And after the first browser instance, also I'm going to put some sleep. Let me run the program. So it is opening the first Chrome instance and it has loaded the Google. After five seconds, it is going to open another Chrome instance and it loaded the Facebook. Another five seconds and it will open a new tab where we can see CNN is being loaded. And in the console, we can see the title of all the websites. Now you might be thinking, okay, suppose I open a new window or tab, I perform some set of actions. Now I want to switch back to the original one or the main window. How to do that? That we are going to see in the next video. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.